Today we're using the bare necessities, I'm using my SW40 pistol and I'm using my knife as well. Uh, playing in pistol only servers this week uh, had a massive amount of fun actually, didn't quite think it would be as fun as it actually was. My main impetus was is because I wanted to rank up the SW40 to make sure I could get the red dot sight that I wanted. And having unlocked that, I thought I'd go a little bit further and try and get some of the battle packs and maybe start to rank it up that little bit further. And I had a massive amount of fun. As we know, the SW40 was included in the Naval Strike DLC as the pistol weapon. Uh, and it sits alongside the MP412 Rex and the 44 Magnum as the three revolvers now available in Battlefield 4. And I have to say for me, it was a really good inclusion. It doesn't have the fire delay that the two others have, which I think gives it a massive advantage over the other two revolvers. doesn't do quite as much damage. You have to sort of rank it as the Magnum doing the most, then the Rex sits in the middle, uh, and then the SW40 sits at the bottom. But it's a little bit more versatile. You get six bullets, it can fire ridiculously fast, and there's no trigger delay, which I think is massively improving its accuracy over the other two weapons. And adding on top of all that, the reload just makes it like the swaggiest pistol that you can get. It's called the SW40, the Swag 40 pistol. And I stuck a really nice camo on there as well with my little Frostbite logo. I do love that logo. It's probably one of the best things that you can put on your weapon in Battlefield 4. I always get people asking in my videos how you actually get that emblem. Well, if you go to emblemsbf.com, you can pick from all of those and loads more than what you see on the screen in front of you already. They are constantly being updated. Whether you've got premium or not, you can get ones that have only got... 20 layers and then the premium ones that have got 40 layers so you can pick any of them and you'll probably be happy with your choice I mean I have a bad company grenade pin as well as one of mine but I think that that frostbite logo just looks utterly awesome now the reason that I'm playing in a pistols only server at the moment and I'm having a lot of fun doing it is because I'm trying to find different ways to play in battlefield 4 that aren't what I normally expect to play and I'm sort of trying to put myself out of my comfort zone somewhat. I don't tend to use my secondary all that often so I think it would be a really good idea for me to go and play in a game mode where that's all you're allowed to use. And I have to say I felt really rewarded for doing so. There's a different skill level in playing in a pistols only server. You have to be extremely accurate, well unless you're using the G18 or the, N the 93R. But apart from that there is a skill gap and there are good players there are sort of not so good players and then there are rubbish players. Now at the start of last week I was a rubbish player. Well except with the 1911 which is probably my most favourite weapon ever in the Battlefield series. The thing is just such a beast in Bad Company 2. It got such a downgrade in Battlefield 4 and I was so disappointed in that. I really thought they were going to bring it back with some massively awesome sound effects. Go for the wooden handle again. But alas, it wasn't to be. In With that weapon itself, I'm relatively quite good. But with all other pistols, I think I failed so hard because I just wasn't used to the damage model. I wasn't used to the recoil. I just couldn't get used to them. So I forced myself to go into this different environment. When you put yourself in a situation with a lot of other guys that are probably doing exactly the same as you, well... There's always the exception, there were a couple of guys that were just raking up 5 and 6 KDs every game we played. Maybe that's all they play, handguns only. I think it's probably quite cool. Maybe we should have that in Final Stand, like handgun superiority or something. All you can use is handguns and it's a massive like 2,000 meter cross map. Maybe that's a bit extreme, but I think it would be a really cool gamer to actually have in the game. But yeah, there are always going to be guys that are going to top the leaderboard. But when you do put yourself in that situation where you're playing against other players that would most likely normally be using an assault rifle in that situation, it gives a massively different feel to the game. I mean, the first few games that I was playing, I was missing l shots left, right and centre. I was just spraying around the body rather than actually hitting the body. When you start to get used to something, obviously you learn how it works and you get a feel for it. And towards the end of this clip that you can see on Parasol Storm, it may have already finished, I'm not too sure. 
but you can see that I went on, I think it was like a four and a half minute kill streak where I didn't die. And this was one of the final games that I played yesterday. And I was really happy after playing that game because I think I went something like 42 and 10. And I was really happy with that. And it gave me such a sense of achievement that after about sort of 10 hours of playing pistols only servers through the last week, I'd finally gotten to a point where I was happy with the game style and the way that I was playing. And going back to that skill set, you really can see a difference. As I was saying, it puts you in a zone that you're not comfortable with. And I certainly wasn't comfortable with it to start with. Semi-auto pistols were just not for me. I was waiting for the Ace-23 to drop out of the sky for me to start wrecking noobs with it. But of course I couldn't. And it forced me to play in that style. And it gave me such a sense of achievement that I was able to start unlocking service stars for weapons that I never thought I'd use. But by far and away the standout star was the SW40. I don't know, I'm just absolutely in love with this thing. It looks cool, it sounds boss, and it performs really well as well. I think it sits in between the pistols with the M1911. I always think of some pistols being really rubbish, like, I don't know, like the MP443. And then you have the Magnum, which is on the complete other end of the scale. But then you've got things like the 1911 and the Compact 45 that sit in the middle with the SW40. They're sort of like a bridge between the two types of weapons, with the obviously the 1911 being the cartridge fed and, and the revolver being the SW40. They're kind of like middle ground weapons, and I really like using those. And now it turns over to you guys. Have you guys played in a pistol only server recently? Have you ever, ever had the impetus to actually go and play on a pistols only server? Do you now want to go and do it, having seen some sort of average but quite good pistol gameplay from me for once? Let me know down in the comments what you think and, and what's your sort of experience in playing in it? Do you get that same feeling that you really are a boss once you get going? Let me know. But that is the end of the video today, guys. So drop a rating and a comment. It is always appreciated. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.